Greetings, everyone. Robert Landau here with another thrilling episode of a weekly trivia series here on Live Life Well TV that we call Did You Know? But this episode of Did You Know? is very, very special indeed. Why? Because it is the third in a series of special tributes, trivia-wise, to the animal kingdom. To that end, I would like to thank two websites and acknowledge them, Mantelligence.com and IcebreakerIdeas.com. And with that said and done, did you know that we're almost ready to go? Why are we not ready to go just as of yet? Well, stay tuned. Did you know that a bustard, B-U-S-T-A-R-D, happens to be a type of bird? Oh, yeah, that's what a bustard is. In case you ever really wanted to know, the best-known bustard happens to be the great bustard, and it is great for a number of reasons. One, it is the largest European land bird and male bustards weigh as much as, get this, 31 pounds and featuring a length overall of no less than four feet. Not only that, but bustards happen to have an average wingspan of eight feet. That's a big bustard, don't you think? They are found in grain fields and other land areas from Central and Southern Europe all the way to Central Asia and Manchuria, if that isn't enough. I think I sneezed. Manchuria. Mm. Can I have a tissue, please? Oh, no, thank you. Did you know that there happens to be a specific word for a rabbit's tail? You know what that is? It's called a scut. S. C-U-T. Did you know, and this is rather obvious, but maybe you didn't, that SIT, S-I-T, is the most common training command when you work and train a dog. Teaching a dog to sit can be very useful to help it out of danger and make sure also that it is patient when it needs to be. Hmm. I think we need to use the word sit when it comes to training some human beings, don't you think? <laughs> Next up, did you know that the average number of spiders per acre in many green areas happens to total upwards of 50,000? Ew. Next up, did you know that the phrase, it's raining cats and dogs, originated in England in the 17th century? Did you also know that one of the longest living mammals in existence happens to be the Arctic whale? They uh, can live, get this, anywhere from 100 up to 200 years. And you know what? I would like to be an Arctic whale. Did you know that in medieval Europe, people believed that witches turned themselves into owls and flew around before changing themselves back? Oh, this information that we're sharing with you today is absolutely astounding, don't you think? Did you know that 3,000 years ago, Native Americans domesticated turkeys not to eat, but to use them for their feathers. Did you know that speaking of turkeys, a grown turkey has no less than 3,500 feathers? Did you know, sticking with the turkey thing, that most turkeys live between three and five years, but they have been known to live much longer than that. Did you know that one of the longest living mammals in existence, uh, scientists have estimated that bowheads can live from over 100 to 200 years? Yeah, 
That's long. Did you know that a donkey will sink in quicksand, but a mule will not? How about that? I mean, this is so life-changing that I don't think you will ever be the same. I know I'm not. I hope you feel the same. Did you know that a duck's quack does not echo and nobody knows why? Enriching, huh? Did you know that reindeer's eyes change color to help them see better? They are blue in winter light and gold uh, in summer light. They can also be brown in summer's light as well. Wow. I am trying to picture what reindeer's eyes look like, and I can picture it, but I had no idea that their eyes change color to help them see better. Interesting. Did you know that elephants communicate using sounds that humans are not able to hear? Did you also know that a hen needs about 24 to 26 hours to produce one egg? Hmm. Did you know that, oh, I can't believe this topic, we're really, dishing it out today. Did you know that horses cannot vomit? Ah, uh, now, folks, my life is complete. Oh, <laughs> did you know that the temperature of the sand, the temperature of sand determines the sex of a baby sea turtle? If the egg is exposed to warmer temperatures, a baby girl will develop. But if the sand happens to be cooler, a baby boy turtle will grow inside the egg. Love it. Did you know that it is physically impossible for pigs to look up at the sky? Yes, my dear, dear friends, it is physically impossible for pigs to look up at the sky. Did you also know that it is possible, it is fully possible to lead a cow upstairs, but you can't lead said cow downstairs. Why? Because a cow's knees cannot bend in a way to make it possible to walk back down. So there. And along those lines, let's talk about goats. Why? Because we cannot leave goats out. Did you know that goats were the first animal to be domesticated, according to many historians? Did you know that chickens have over 200 distinct noises they can make to communicate? I think somebody should do a recording of those noises. It, it would sell real fast, don't you think? Here are no less than 200 noises that the average chicken can make. Let's start with noise number one. I think that would, oh my God, it would sell like hotcakes. Something to think about in my entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mind. Can't say the word, but it's a brilliant idea. Did you know that cows have a memory of about three years. Did you know that a flamingo is gray when it's born, uh, but the shrimp and algae that they eat dye their feathers pink? Did you know that owls with dark brown or black eyes tend to hunt at night? Did you know that owls with red or orange eyes hunt at twilight? Did you know that owls with yellow eyes like to catch their food during the day? Did you know, dear, dear folks, that cows are social animals who happen to form bonds with each other, even forming cliques within a heard. Now, did you know that I have some news that I think will deeply disappoint you? I don't like to be negative. I don't like to present bad news, but sometimes 
you gotta. And here it is. Sit down if you're not already sitting. I think this will come as a very harsh emotional blow, but I got to do it. Here's the news. There are only two more did you knows left before we close this episode. I know. I know. Try to calm down. It'll be okay. <laughs> Here's the second to last, did you know? Did you know that geese are faithful? They are mates for life and mourn when their partner dies. And the final, did you know, at least for this episode, happens to be this. Did you know that goats and sheep do not have teeth on their upper jaw? They have a hard plate. Instead, that helps them grind their food, which I guess is probably why there don't happen to be any dentists that solely tend to goats and sheep. I mean, think about it. It just wouldn't be very lucrative for them. <laughs> if I've seen a little out there for this episode, I'll tell you why. Because I love doing it. And it's a lot of fun. And guess what? If you can't have fun in life, then you know what? What's the point? I hope you enjoyed this episode of Did You Know? Part three in our tribute to the animal kingdom. And if you're good, there just may be a part four. Stay tuned. I know you will continue to be on the edge of your seat to find out if indeed there might be a part four. So, thank you so much for listening and being here. This has been Robert Landau, Live Life Well TV host, with another amazing, absolutely astounding, earth-shattering episode of Did You Know? Thanks for being with me. God bless.